Hello everyone, my name is Seppo and welcome back to Native Engineering. Today we are doing Joule Cycle Power Machines N6. Joule Cycle is basically the combination of the Auto Cycle and the Diesel Cycle. We have the PV diagram of the Joule Cycle on the board. And by now we already know that when we draw the PV diagram of the cycles, we will take it as if we are working with a closed system, meaning we are not going to consider the induction and the exhaust stroke. Therefore, we will start from the compression. Now, from 1 to 2, this is our compression taking place using the law PV raised to gamma at equals to C, which is the adiabatic compression. Now, in Joule cycle, we are going to have two stages of combustion. First, we will have combustion taking place at constant volume, where V2 is equal to V3. As from here to here, heat is added into the system. And then from 3 to 4, that is the second phase of combustion. Heat is added and it takes place at constant pressure where P3 is equal to P4. And then from there, this will be our expansion from 4 to 5. Or we can also say it's the power stroke, which also takes place using the law PV raised to gamma is equal to C, which is the adiabatic law. And then finally, we have heat rejected from the system at constant volume, where our V1 is equal to V5. And this is the PV diagram of the Joule cycle. Notice we have combustion. We have two phases of combustion. We have combustion taking place at constant volume where our V2 is equal to V3. And we have uh, combustion again taking place at constant pressure where our V3 is equal to our V4. This is the PV diagram of the, joule, of the joule cycle. We move to the TS diagram of the joule cycle. From 1 to 2, that is our compression. And it is taking place using the law of PV raised to gamma is equal to C, which is the adiabatic law. We know under adiabatic law, there is no heat exchange. Therefore, our entropy remains the same. We know this is a TS diagram. Our entropy remains the same from 1 to 2. S1 is equal to S2. And then from number 2 to number 3, that is where we get the first phase of combustion and we know combustion heat is added into the system and therefore our entropy will get from s s2 to s3 there will be an increase in entropy which will take place at constant volume our combustion at this phase will take place at constant volume and then from three to four we have the second phase of combustion, which take place at constant pressure, where we have our pressure number three being equal to pressure number four. And then from four to five, four to five, this is our expansion, which take place using the law PV it's a PV raised to gamma is equal to C, which is the adiabatic law. Still, under adiabatic, there is no heat exchange. Therefore, S4 is equal to S5. From 5 to 1, heat is rejected from the system. That is why we get our entropy decreasing from 5 to 1. And this happens at constant volume where we have our v1 being equal to v5 and that is the ts diagram of the joule cycle 
and these are some of the formulas that we will be using under joule cycle we have the air standard efficiency air standard efficiency which is one right here air standard efficiency one minus cv t5 minus t1 divided by cv t3 minus t2 in bracket plus cp in bracket t4 minus t3 this will be equals to 1 minus t5 minus t1 divided by t3 minus t2 plus gamma t4 minus t3 this is our s standard efficiency the formula for our s standard efficiency and this is the formula for work done work done it's mr okay i need space work done it's equals to mr in bracket another bracket t4 negative t3 close bracket plus t4 minus t5 minus t2 plus t1 divided by gamma minus 1 close bracket we use this formula when we are having the same index for compression and expansion and we are going to use this formula for work done when we are having different values for the index of expansion and the index at compression t4 minus t5 divided by the index of expansion minus one in bracket minus it's a close bracket minus t2 minus t1 divided by the index at or the index of compression this is expansion and this is compression and that is what we need for us to be able to start attempting questions under joule cycle i will see you on the next lesson